Mirasol is similar, but not exactly the same as Forward One. Uh, as I said, it, uh, it only is allowing patients with folate receptor alpha high, which we expect to be about 40% of patients with high-grade serous uh, ovarian cancer. They can have one to three prior lines of chemotherapy, uh, inclusive of prior bevacizumab and prior uh, PARP inhibitors. Uh, they're randomized one to one. This time, if you remember in Ford one, it was two to one. Now we have plenty of safety data. And so it's one to one randomization to Mervituximab or investigator's choice chemotherapy. And the primary endpoint is investigator assessed progression free survival. And secondary endpoints include uh, response rate, overall uh, survival, and patient reported uh, outcomes. And so, um, so this study is open and accruing. We have um, patients being treated uh, right now and sites are getting activated uh, in the United States and soon to come uh, globally. Uh, you know, I think COVID-19 has set us all back a little bit, but we do have patients uh, actually screening and enrolling on this trial now. And really what is anticipated is that this will be a positive study uh, and we'll finally get Mervituximab approved and available to women with recurrent ovarian cancer. And it provides uh, an option for patients whose disease uh, is no longer responsive to platinum and who have either already progressed, tumors have progressed through an Aurelia type regimen with um, uh, bevacizumab and chemotherapy, or for patients who are not eligible for a, a bevacizumab for whatever reason, they can come right on um, to Mervituximab. So it gives us uh, gives women another option um, for treatment in this uh, space of, of platinum resistant uh, ovarian cancer, where we need many options um, to serially continue to improve progression free survival and push out overall survival. So I think that's where it will be positioned uh, initially as monotherapy uh, in that platinum resistant space.